Good morning, everybody. I'm sure that you all miss me terribly, but I hope that you are having a good day. Um, and today, the objective is to be, uh, first of all, to evaluate e algebraic expressions, simplify algebraic expressions. Those two things you guys have done many times in the past. This won't take much time at all for you. Um, the assignment for today is down at the bottom here, uh, section 6.1, as you see here on the bottom. And I'm going to first give you some notes, and then uh, you'll have some work time. In this first ex uh, expression, you're supposed to take x equals negative 5. And actually insert that into all the x values in the um, equation here. So what you're going to do is take that negative 5 and actually pretend this is a box and put it in there. So it'll be negative 5 to the second plus 4 times negative 5 minus 7. And then you simplify it using PEMDAS. So negative 5 squared is 25 plus 4 times negative 5 is a negative 20 minus 7. Simplify that further, you have 25 plus a negative 27, which is a negative 2. The same rules apply for this one. So I'm going to rewrite this as 13 minus 3 here. So using PEMDAS, we want to do the inside of the parentheses first. Now we'll do exponents. And then we'll simplify from there. Here's our answer. Same rules apply for this one, except this time we have two variables. We have an x and a y. So you just need to substitute these in for the two different variables in the equation. So minus 3 times 5 squared plus 4 times 5 times negative 1 minus negative 1 to the third power. Negative 3 times 25 plus 4 times 5 is 20 times a negative 1 is a negative 20. And negative 1 to the third power is still going to be a negative. So we have a negative and a negative together there. So we will put that together. It'll be a plus 1. And this will be negative 75. Put all that, it'll be negative 95 plus 1, which is negative 94. The last few examples I have for you is simplifying algebraic expressions without replacing the x or y values with an actual value. The first one I want to look at is this one. So first we will want to uh, do the distribution on this. So it'll be 7 times 2x and 7 times negative 3. So that would be 14x minus 21 minus 11x. Now, to simplify this further, we need to make sure that we only put like terms together. You cannot add this x value to a non-x value. So what we need to do is find the other value that can go with that. So there they are. So I'm going to put 14x minus 11x together. Minus 21. What I did here was move everything over and put it together. So 11x minus, or 14x minus 11x is 3x minus 21. And that is my final answer for this. On this example over here, we are going to have to distribute the 7 and the 2 to their, to their groupings. 
So it'll be 7 times 4x squared is 7 times 3x. Now we'll do the same with the 2. 2 times 5x squared and 2 times x. Now we need to combine like terms. An x squared cannot be combined with just an x. So we need to find another x squared in this equation, and here it is. I can put those two together, and I can put these two together. They're like terms. So 28x plus 10x is 38x squared, and 21x plus 2x is 23x. And this is my final answer for that. All right, the last example I have for today is this one here. And the first thing we want to do is work on PEMDAS. And notice that there's two sets of parentheses. So we're going to work from the inside out. And notice that this is a negative. What we're going to want to put there is we want to note that that is actually like a negative 1 right there, okay? So we're going to multiply that negative 1 to both things on the inside. So let's rewrite this. 6x plus 4, 7, and then negative 1 times x is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. Now, in the inside of this parentheses, I can combine these two. So this will now be 6x plus 4, 9 minus x. Now we can take 4 and distribute that to both of the inside portions. So it will be 6x plus 4 times 9, which is 36. And 4 times negative 1x is negative 4x. These two can be combined. So now we have 6x minus 4x is 2x plus 36. All right, that's it for today. I hope that helps you get ready with your homework. You can work together. And uh, good luck. We'll see you Friday.